and so now I feel like I'm more comfortable being in my own place I'm more comfortable doing what the fuck I want to do I don't want nobody questioning me about where I'm going where I'm allowed to go who I'm allowed to hang out with that's just no mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm a very free spirit most Pisces people are and um, we don't want nobody constantly on our ass telling us what the fuck to do because I'm not that type of woman if I'm with a man you have as long as you're being faithful to me and being honest to me I don't need to know where the fuck you're going all the time I don't need to know how long you're staying out I'm not that type of woman that's gonna blow up somebody's phone asking them where they are that's just not me I've never been that type of woman and um I trust if I if, if I feel like if I'm gonna be with you I should be able to trust you okay I have like I have living to do I ain't got time to be sitting up here blowing up your phone living for you 24 7 I ain't got time for that shit um she was definitely Lilith is definitely an individualist which I definitely am I am unlike anybody in my family I am very very much a um a very different person a different type of person <laughs> um I, I i marched to the beat of my own drum and i'm proud to say that um she's a vampire noc nocturnal awake person i am that way too i don't sleep throughout the night i am a night owl um i'm up at night time do performing spell work or i'm up at night um reading or i'm up at night just in my thoughts i would rather sleep during the day than at night time i love the night time i feel like that's when the world is quiet i'm a moon person um more than i am a sun person um although i love the sun i'm more of a moon person i love being up with the moon i love staring at the moon i love working my spells according to the moon i am just an overall vampire vampires is what i like to call myself um yeah i am <laughs> and um i used to be a phlebotomist um i worked in the field where i learned about blood and worked with blood and i think blood is fascinating i love performing a lot of magic using blood I love when I was with Seth my my ex the guy that I was madly in love with may he rest in peace one thing I used to love to do I used to love nibbling and sucking on his throat that was one of my favorite things to do I love doing that more than kissing and there was this thing where we were gonna have sex um, and we broke up shortly after but we were going into like Hot Topic and Spencer's and stuff. We were trying to find blood, fake blood. And um, what we were gonna do, we was gonna have a love ritual, like a sex ritual, where we were kind of just pouring blood all over each other and just having sex and just, I don't know, it just was something about it. It's something that I wanted to do and the fact that he was all for it because he was like me, he was a weirdo crazy like me. And um, he was he was totally game for it. He never looked at me like I was weird or just crazy or anything like that. We were just like so compatible in so many ways, you know. Um, she finds herself the scapegoat for other people's bullshit, and I'm definitely the same way. Um, I finally I've I've recently become estranged from my family because something happened to where I was there for one of my loved ones let one of my loved ones temporarily stay with me and um, help this person out and all of this stuff and I'm not gonna go too much into details but I'm just gonna say I was blamed for trying to help someone and um, everybody turned against me because of this incident and um, I just said fuck that shit I changed my number and I just I just say you know what I'm meant to live this I'm, I'm meant to walk this life alone and that's what I'm gonna do so it's unfortunate what happened I was lied on and um, because I have a history within my family of being a smart mouth of talking crazy um, it, it made it believable that I was mistreating 
one of my siblings when I in fact I actually wasn't but um I do definitely find myself being in the middle of attacks and, and, and do the things that I didn't even do you know unfortunately that's the black sheep for you um Lilith is definitely a black sheep so I'm gonna make I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video um I love Lilith um they say that she's quick she has anger outbursts they say that she's not she's um a blood sucker she's a man eater she's one of those people that kind of manipulates men and when she gets them where she wants them she kind of you know indulges them <laughs> um so i will say that i definitely have um some similarities with her since becoming out and becoming stronger in my practice as a witch um i would say that i used to be that person that used to get finessed by men um i used to get finessed out of money out of feelings out of a lot of things and i'm no longer that woman i'm a woman who's very wise now who knows who she is and knows what she wants and um i can make a man bend to what i want you know i can i know how to i know how a man thinks and I know what a man's weakness is. And I know I can read a person, especially since I've tapped into my intuitive gifts. Um, I've always been an intuitive person, but within the last three years, I've definitely become top notch with my reading abilities. And um, you can't get over me. You just can't get over me. Nobody can. So with that being said, I thank you guys. I am so excited to um, to be able to work with Lilith, to be able to be one of her her children, to be able to honor her. I don't think she's an evil person like they depict her to be, but I definitely do feel like she's not the one to fuck with. She's not one of those people that you can get over on. Um, she knows what she wants. She's in control of who she is, and I admire that. Okay. So until next time, you guys, thank you for watching.